This practice game is ideal for a piece that's newly put hands together. So let's take Cuckoo, for instance. You, your student has just started playing hands together. And so we have two sets of Uno cards, one through four, in two different colors. I usually say red is right, but you could choose the colors that you prefer. So we mix them up in our deck. I ask the student to choose a card. They pick blue three. So they would proceed to play left hand of Cuckoo, third phrase. If they're successful, they get to keep the card. If not, it goes back in the deck and they get to try again. As the student accumulates cards by playing correctly, they put them in order up on the music rack. And then when they reach a match, for instance, I've just drawn third phrase right hand. If I can play it correctly, then I get to try for a match. So to earn a match, I take both of my cards, my both my third phrase, I play the right, I play the left, and then I have to try it hands together. If I'm successful, then I get to turn the cards over. That is one match for the student to keep. You can continue the game for a set number of minutes. Let's play it for five minutes or until they've earned all the cards. As they get better at the game and have earned all the cards, then at the end, once they have four matches, they can play the whole piece in a row. And of course, this can be done with any of the hands together pieces in book one, especially helpful though for Alberti Bass.